Hey everyone, Mike here again. I know, don't fall off your chairs, it's the second time in like two or three weeks. But just want to give you a little update. Uh, SJ4 Beards there. Got that cold crashing, so hopefully I'll get that in the keg this weekend. And there's my Mertzen and Oktoberfest. That's going to be kegged tomorrow. But I run into a little problem. I'm almost out of beer. In my last video, I had five of the taps filled. I think I kicked the black ale the night before I made the other video. Then, like the next night, I kicked that wee heavy that was in there. And yesterday, I went to bottle some beer for some beer mail, and I end up kicking the Bohemian Pilsner and the Baltic Porter. So now I have a problem. I might have to buy commercial beer. Uh -oh. So yeah, because I can't drink the SJ Porter beer. So I just had to go in this weekend in condition for about two weeks so I can bottle that. And then uh, where it's an Oktoberfest, that's for my wedding that's coming in, coming up in October. So hopefully I can get those two cleared out and brew something on Friday, which is I'm planning on brewing this, just a pale wheat beer I threw together, just stuff I had laying around. But hopefully I can get caught up by the end of the year. <laughs> After I brew the pale wheat, I have to brew the Kolsch, the cream ale, and a pale ale for the wedding in October. So that's gonna tie up the fermenters for a while. But I do have something that I bought to take care of this problem in the future so I can brew ahead and keep stuff in stock. I went and got a, a five cubic foot freezer that I put a collar on so I can hold up to six kegs. I got eight kegs now, we get two more, so hopefully, after I get all the wedding brewing done, I can start stockpiling some beer and get this thing filled up so I don't run out again. So I guess I'll take you down here in the cellar and show you my freezer. Down here, not falling down the steps. Yeah, just a little note there. Oh, it's still dark down here. I was down here and forgot to leave the light on. Yeah, our house is old. It was built in like the mid 1800s. Most we can tell it was like 1840 something, so it still has the it's a real cellar. This part here has concrete kind of slapped on the floor, and the other half over there by the furnace it still has the dirt floor. But anyhow, here's the freezer I made just a five cubic foot. I just threw a collar on and got the Wi Fi ink bird. I don't know if that's coming out or not. Let me show you inside. Nothing special. I didn't do any videos of making it or take any pictures really because it's a basically a keyser with a collar, a freezer with a collar on. There's plenty of pictures of those, but it has a light in. But it doesn't work now that I raised it up. So I don't know if there was a magnetic switch or what. I'll have to check into that. But yeah, you can kind of see how I wired it up and just use the ties and yeah, maybe you can't. And I got an extension cord, but before anyone says anything, that's a 14 gauge extension cord, so there's no problem using that because that's what the 14 gauge is what runs the end of the outlet that it's plugged into. So it's safe. And here's my beer cellar. You know, here, let me find another light. Hold on. All right, let's see if that made it any better. But there's the, there's the freezer. I should be able to hold six kegs in there, but I'm planning on just keeping four for now. And then on the side there, I'm going to keep my bottled beer for beer mills and stuff now we can hold more in here this is slide over and I also I'm getting a regulator and some gas line so I can hook into this I want to use that for the wedding to dispense the beer and then afterwards I'm going to hook it up into here so I can uh, condition and carbonate at the same time so if anyone's interested, here's my beer cellar. So maybe I won't have to buy any commercial beer. <laughs> I got some Leffy Brune on top, some Chimay. Going across here. Yeah, you can see what it is. There's 
I don't know if you can read the years on that there or not, but behind there is so 18 Jovial Trogues Mad Elf. I used to have a vertical from like 2015, but we had two parties last year and killed all that. So, yeah, I like my Weyerbacher big beers. I have a lot of uh, verticals of that from 2015 to 18. That's the last of the old heathen. They stopped making that in 2015 and switched over to the the Weyerbacher, the tiny. That's a Belgian Imperial. And my homebrew's down there. That's a box of Doppelbach. There's a barley wine that I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it refuses to carb. I primed it. It didn't carb, so I popped all the bottles open, redosed it with yeast, and it still doesn't want to carb, so might just be for cooking I don't know and there is I don't know if you can read that the last bottle black ale it's the bottle condition one and there's a double a bigger bottle of the barley wine Baltic Porter and an experiment I was doing that's not turning out well it's I think 2015 it's the Weyerbacher double Simcoe which is usually pretty good and it's like nine point some percent no, I can't read. I think it's nine. Anyway, I saved that to try and do an experiment to see how the big beers and the hops work. and It's not too good. It faded and some of them aren't tasting too good. So I should just dump them. But every once in a while people come over and we'll pull one out and taste it. But other than that, that's just a quick update of what's going on here. I'm looking forward to tasting everyone's beer, the SJ Pour Challenge. So until the next time. Cheers.